Hello everyone, I'm Asimma Walsh. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining and for clicking on this video today. Uh, while I have your attention, please do not forget to subscribe and also click on that bell notification to see all my videos coming up. Hello, welcome. It is a bit of a different video today. Uh, if you are in the UK or France or Germany or anywhere else that is in lockdown 2.0 um, and you feel me, the struggle is real. It's been a uh, really tough week actually for me this, uh, this week. So I wasn't gonna make a video. I've been uh, in a bit of a dive in my head. Uh, so I found myself kind of like slowly slipping down this, uh, this path this week. And I was like, whoa, I'm not good this week. And uh, therefore it made me not want to film at all this week. And if you um, know me well, I'm quite, honest about uh, mental health and everything that I go through uh, as much as I can I like to share it with you guys and um, I actually get really bad anxiety <laughs> and I know you might not believe this but I actually get really bad anxiety about making uh, YouTube videos and editing them and the whole process just makes me feel really overwhelmed sometimes and then lockdown 2.0 hit and I was like oh my god what am I gonna do how am I gonna make content? And I got myself in a real um, state. Uh, and I woke up this morning and I was like, I don't feel like getting out of bed. It's cold, I'm cozy. Then I started beating myself up for not actually making a video. And I was like, I should make a video. I've been making a video once a week, every week for the last couple of months. And I promised myself and you guys that I would do that. So today's not a car video. However, I thought that I'd share this with you because the one thing that's been killing me is actually social media, which has been a big topic at the moment. Social media is bad for mental health, all this, you know, all the headlines are, are, that are being made at the moment. Uh, and it is true, and it's good as well, because lots of people are using it as a positive headspace at the moment, which is awesome. And I realize that I'm telling you this over social media, um, over a YouTube video. However, I was just taken back, I was like, right, what am I feeling? What would I like to share? And maybe if I can help myself today, I can help somebody else. So I sat down in bed and made a list of a few things that make me feel better. So I thought, oh, obviously there's a lot of things that would make you feel better. And I wrote a list of five things that are pretty easy to do. And I actually have been feeling really overwhelmed with all the social media of people trying to be happy and positive and uh, productive. And it's actually just set me back even more. I'm like, whoa, I feel really guilty for not being so productive. I feel really guilty for not being happy all the time. And I was just like in an actual mess. And I'm almost 100% certain that I am not the only person that has felt like this. So today I decided to make this video, which makes sense to me. And if it can help anyone, even if you do one of these things a day, it will make you feel better and it will just um, help you uh, with your mindset as well uh, for the day. So I've made a list of five things um, that I think are pretty easy to do uh, in a day, even if you just have one of them a day, just set you up for the day uh, and hopefully it can help you uh, through lockdown 2.0 and you don't get yourself into a right state like I did this week. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with number one here while I'm sitting here uh, and then we'll get on to the other ones. And this is really weird because I actually started trying to do this a while ago. It's called the Wim Hof method, I think it's called. Uh, and it is a cold shower. And I know this sounds horrendous uh, during the winter. However, number one, and this is gonna be the most simple one, just to get you out of bed, is get out of bed, make your bed, uh, and jump into the shower. Now, I have a shower for two minutes in warm, hot water, and then I crank it down to cold, uh, and then it's just a mind of a matter thing. I'm not gonna lie, it was horrendous the first time I tried it, but you are literally beaming when you get out the shower after after two minutes of cold, and I switch it over to cold, and then I just breathe through it, and you can start off for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds. There's actually an app that you can use uh, that times you in the shower if you can be bothered with that. I just try count it through with my breaths, uh, but after a while, it's so easy, uh, and I get out the shower and I feel really revitalized, and actually not freezing, because I've already been warm, and then it goes cold, and then I'm kind of awake and ready and that kind of sets me up for the day that's if i can be asked to do that so that's the big uh, first step for me number one is make your bed and jump in the shower and if you can't handle the cold shower uh, for the first time that's fine uh, just get yourself in the shower and get dressed for the day so that is number 
one. Number two, and this may seem like the most obvious thing, and that's because it is the best thing for you. No matter what you do, if you can do this one thing a day, then you are sick, and that is exercise. I'm not asking you to run a marathon. I used to run, I tried that once or twice, and uh, it didn't work for me. Go for a walk. It is free, it's easy. Obviously, weather permitting, today is a wonderful day. So get yourself wrapped up, get some hiking boots on, and get outside weather today because it's sunny uh, and this is my usual walk it's just around the block I set my watch just so that I can kind of keep track of not that I count calories but it's just sometimes nice to know a little outdoor walk um, what you've burnt off it makes you mentally feel better all these small things uh, that help bring your little brain with you come with in and um, I put my airpods in and I either listen to a podcast some really nice music or I call a friend. And there you go. Bless you. Now, if for some reason you can't get outside uh, and you can't go for a walk, then inside is a great place to do workouts. Uh, and everything's pretty much free on YouTube. Uh, this is my favorite at the moment. It's uh, Les Mills Body Combat. So if you're in for like a bit of a hip workout or something a little more active, this is amazing, obviously. The dancer in me loves it uh, with all the kicks and it's all to the music on the beat so I love that. Otherwise if that's too much for you I do yoga classes. My friend Natalie does yoga classes on a Monday and Wednesday. It's £4 a class. It's super cheap. Uh, if that's the route that you want to go down I'll put the link down below. Otherwise also yoga with Adrian on YouTube is free. Any workout you want to do is free on YouTube if you know the right place to go. So that's that. Get your mat, get yourself inside uh, and do your workout there. That's number two. Number three, also pretty obvious, eat healthy, eat well. Um, I know that restaurants are still open if you're living in London, it's so easy to get a takeaway. But when you're cooking at home and it's fresh and you know what you're putting in it, it's just gonna make you feel better. It's a mood lifter, uh, it's a pretty obvious uh, thing. And that again, you can just Google any recipe you like. Um, I have some really nice recipes that I like to make. If that's something that you would be interested in, I can do some cooking. I did some of that in the first lockdown actually, that went down really okay. Uh, and then alongside with the eating well and eating healthy, I take some supplements. And this is not an advert at all, it's just what I've uh, started taking at the moment. I take these Ingenious Active, I can't report back just yet because I've just started them, but these are for uh, somebody with a active lifestyle, uh, also for somebody who's getting a little bit older and the joints hurt a lot more after exercise, uh, and also for healthy skin and hair. And then this is a must. Um, any brand you like, I'm not, I'm not a, a professional, but vitamin D at the moment, uh, we're in lockdown, we're feeling down, we're feeling sad, and also the sun's kind of not really here and it's winter, so vitamin D is amazing, and I actually just bought this one, it's a spray, and now this sounds like an advert, but none of this is uh, sponsored at all, uh, this is just what I do, of course you have to consult your um, doctor or professional healthcare, whatever you need to do, uh, to make sure you're taking the right supplements, but this is what I do, and this is just one spray a day. In the mouth, under the tongue, and you just keep it there. And that's pretty easy if you hate taking tablets, so the spray is amazing. Um, and that's it for number three, guys. Number four, get yourself a puppy. <laughs> I'm joking, that's not what number four is. Hello, but he's obviously been amazing. He's my best friend, my lockdown buddy. Ooh, he's lovely. Anyway, number four is read a good book. Paired alongside this can be watch a good movie or series. However, that kind of does send you down the rabbit hole, or it does for me anyway. I get into a really good series, and then I literally don't leave the sofa. But it is nice to watch a good series every now and then. Uh, lots of Netflix series. Again, I can do a, a video on, yes? I can do a video on um, Netflix recommendations, Amazon movies. Hello. Um, okay, anyway, good book. Get yourself into a good book. Now, I've been reading these three. I say I've been reading. I will get back into reading these three books. This is a fiction book, obviously, uh, which is good to kind of take your head out of the real world. Uh, and then I read things like, you are a badass at making money. Mainly because I don't have a job at the moment and I'm not making any money and I'm trying to manifest a life of money and happiness. So this is a really good book if you're into that kind of stuff. And then if you're into a little bit more, uh, subtle book, uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Beep, okay? And this is a really good one if you're in a bad headspace, um, just the art of just not 
caring too much, especially uh, when you get trolled a lot and when people let you down and you feel like you're in a bad space. Uh, this is just a really good book to uh, set you up again uh, to have a positive attitude. So that is number four. Number five, uh, and the last one on my very small list of things to make you feel better during lockdown 2.0, or in life in general, you can use this for everyday life as well. Uh, it is to call your friends and family, uh, and you can FaceTime them, that's probably the best thing to do because then you see the face and you can react to their reaction, uh, and also just send a voice note. My mom sent me a voice note this morning, and it literally just lit my face up, and obviously I would have loved a message as well, but hearing her voice just makes me really happy. So every now and then I pick a few people and I just send a voice note just saying, hey, how are you? Just checking in uh, and I love you and miss you and whatever you want to say. So I'm going to call my parents now, uh, a quick FaceTime to brighten it up my day. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? We're just busy rehearsing. Oh, cool. Look at everyone. Oh, that's so cool. All right, we're just going to say hi. Give me a call when you finish. Okay, okay, will do. Say hi to hi, YouTube. Hi. hi, YouTube. Come and see the show. Yay! All right, Dad, I love you. Bye. 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 So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my five small wins for a better lockdown 2.0. And this is not supposed to be a happy video thrown in your face saying to do better and you should be happy all the time. This is more of a motivation for both of us uh, if you're struggling uh, to work together uh, to hopefully brighten up your day and make lockdown a little bit better for all of us. Please let me know down in the comments below if you are doing these, if they are helping, if you're struggling with anything, uh, let me know down below. And also some ideas of what videos to film during lockdown. I mean, I guess I can do anything <laughs> here in lockdown. I learned how to uh, mow the lawn last time, so that was all fun. So let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see during the next four weeks. Hopefully, fingers crossed, but that's how long it will be. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below for more videos to come. I'll see you all really, really soon. Bye.